Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. Today what you see in front of you is the H2 Nano Portable Hydrogen Water Bottle. And today we're going to test to see how much hydrogen it'll put into the water. Now this is measured by ppm or milligrams per liter. And we're going to do the test today to see how much hydrogen this new H2 Nano will dissolve into water. This bottle has a 5 minute cycle and a 20 minute cycle. Today what we're going to do is we're going to run it for 10 minutes. That would be two 5 minute cycles. And we're going to measure the amount of hydrogen using H2 Blue. Today we're going to use distilled water. Why do I use distilled water? It's because it's free of any impurities and that's a good baseline for these tests. The number one question I get is what kind of water should I use in my water bottle? The answer is water you prefer. I would recommend a good filtered water to make sure that it's clean and healthy. So you can use tap water, distilled water, reverse osmosis water, filtered water. Any kind of water can be used in this bottle. Okay, I'm going to set up to do the test. First off, I'm going to pour the water out that's already in it. Empty. Okay, we're going to take our distilled water and we're going to fill the bottle up to the maximum line. And we're also going to measure to make sure there's no hydrogen in this water already. So I'll take a sample. We'll put a couple drops of H2 blue into the water. You can see the water is blue. That means there's no hydrogen in it. Let's put the cap on. And we'll start our cycle by pressing the button twice. So this is a five minute cycle. It's gonna run for five minutes, it's gonna go off. I'm gonna start it again so we can run it for 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part of the video so the video isn't so long. Okay, we'll start it again and run it for five more minutes. All right, it's done with its cycle. Let's go ahead and measure the amount of hydrogen that's in the water. For every drop of H2 blue I can put into the sample and it turns clear, that means there's one milligram per liter or one ppm in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sample this line here is six milliliters. That's what we need to fill it up to. And I'll do that now. The 
There you can see we have the six milliliters. I'll zoom in on this to get a little bit better angle. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty four, twenty four. As you can see, it's staying blue. So we got twenty four drops. So that's two point four milligrams per liter of dissolved hydrogen or 2.4 ppm. As the title of this video says, the H2 Nano makes 4 ppm. I'm going to show you how you can make 4 ppm with this portable hydrogen water bottle. Let's dump this water out. In order to make a higher PPM concentration, we need to apply pressure to the bottle so that it can dissolve more hydrogen into the water. The way we do this is with a Evian drinking water bottle. And the reason why I say Evian is because of the size of the threads of this bottle. A regular North American style bottle and South America too is gonna have a little bit smaller diameter so it won't fit the threads of the H2 Nano. But the Evian bottle is a little bit bigger, a 30 millimeter diameter, and it will fit the H2 Nano. So let's go ahead and fill our Evian bottle full of distilled water. And we're going to fill it all the way to the brim. And again, let's test to make sure there's no hydrogen in the distilled water. Put a couple drops of H2 blue in it. A 
And as you can see, there's no hydrogen in that water. Now what we do is we're going to detach the container. And you can see it has threads in here. Attach that to the top of our Evian bottle. Flip it over. And we're going to run a 10 minute cycle on this. There it started, and again I'm going to fast forward the video. We're going to run this for one five minute cycle and another five minute cycle so we get ten minutes on the Evian bottle. Let's run it again. All right, we now finished our 10 minute cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sample. Here we go, six milliliters. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-nine drops. That's 3.9 milligrams per liter or 3.9 ppm. And a couple of these tests I've got as high as 4.2 ppm. Pretty incredible 
for a portable. This portable is the most advanced portable that you can buy in the world. This is the only portable that will put more than 4 ppm into the water. There's no other water bottle that comes even close. A good water bottle will put 2 ppm in the water. And this one puts up to 4 ppm into the water. Now you can also attach 1 liter bottles to this generator. So you can attach a 1 liter bottle and you can run it for 20 minutes. So it has a 20 minute cycle. If you press this three times, and there it goes. So for a one liter bottle, you run it for one 20 minute cycle and it'll put up to four ppm into the water. You can find this great product on our website, www.hydrogen4health.com. These bottles are in stock and ready to ship out. This is Steve, thanks for watching.